Pirates of the Caribbean – At World's End is a video game based on the Pirates of the Caribbean films Dead Man's Chest and At World's End, published by Buena Vista Games for the PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3 Xbox 360, Microsoft Windows, PSP, Nintendo DS and the Wii. Plot <inaudible> 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 Pirates of the Caribbean, At World's End follows the events of Pirates of the Caribbean movies Dead Man's Chest and At World's End with some additional missions and characters. In-game location include locales such as the Black Pearl, the Flying Dutchman, Tortuga, Davy Jones Locker, Shipwreck Cove, Port Royal and a prison. As Captain Jack Sparrow the player visits several locations to find the Pirate Lords and tell them of the meeting at Shipwreck Cove requiring the player to battle the Pirate Lords and their guards or perform favors for them. Near the end of the game the player must battle across the Flying Dutchman as both Will and Jack for the dead man's chest. The battle ends with Will killing Davy Jones and remaining behind as Jack returns to the Black Pearl. On the Pearl, the player has to defend the ship against the Endeavor and Lord Cutler Beckett until the Dutchman returns under Will's command and destroys the Endeavor, killing Beckett. After the battle Barbasa has another mutiny against Jack. Jack later runs into Black Bart along with Scarlet and Giselle. Reception Pirates of the Caribbean, at World's End was rated average to very mixed by critics for all the platforms it was released for. From the highest scores to the lowest, GameRankings and Metacritic gave it a score of 65.30% and 66 out of 100 for the DS version, 58.86% and 57 out of 100 for the PC version, 58.25% and 61 out of 100 for the PSP version, 58.09% and 58 out of 100 for the Xbox 360 version, 56.80% and 55 out of 100 for the PlayStation 3 version, 56.59% and 53 out of 100 for the Wii version, and 51.50% and 54 out of 100 for the PlayStation 2 version. IGN gave the mobile phone version a score of 6.5 out of 10 and stated, Developer Capybara Games has assembled a perfunctory movie game that hits its marks, swashbuckling, cannon fire, vine swinging, but fails to engage the player at all. That the gameplay isn't compelling a problem augmented by iffy control is a shame, because with no fewer than 21 levels, this could have been a real value for mobile gamers. <laughs>